Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel with me, JB, and to this episode. This is a Sunday special, episode number 12, and uh, we are going to continue with what we started. Now, before we go ahead, I would please would like to remind you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. And then we also have a Patreon page. So if you would like to support the channel, please go check that out in the description below. Now, as for our previous episode, we, we recorded, but remember, we had a failure in the audio. So I did a few things and then I started this episode with this car and... We replaced all the body parts. If you cannot remember, please go back and check that out, that video. We we replaced all the body parts and we also we we also painted the car, spray painted the car. But then I told you that I am a little bit concerned that we will not have enough money to actually complete these tasks. Because we still have quite a few parts left un, uh, uh, undiscovered. So, the, the, the strategy that we're going to do is we're going to do other orders and build up our cash so that we get like, we're going to try and aim for 10,000 and then we are going to finish this order. I'm going to go ahead and sell these parts. Sell, of course. And then... Yeah. So, again, at the start of this series, I said be careful with what you buy and when you buy it because you might not have enough money to continue the game. You're going to basically screw yourself if you don't do it strategically or in the right way. Now, I almost got there. I almost made that mistake. Jeez, JB, why don't you just practice what you preach? Sometimes I forget, so I almost did that, and I'm going to show you what you can do to get out of that. So, let's do another order, and we're going to look for, if you guys see over here, we have normal order, story order, bonus uh, credits, and bonus XP. We're going to look for bonus credits, like this one. Uh, the suspension feels loose. Fix Find and fix any running gear problems, suspension rattling, loud when accelerating. Okay, we let's take that order. I'm not sure what to expect here. Mm. Okay. So we need we need to discover six parts. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can test drive this car. Yes, we can. Go test, and hopefully we can discover those six parts. Okay. Hey, hey. I think... I think that is not too bad. But again, I'm not the best driver in games. In real life, I'm I'm a pretty okay driver. Is that okay to say? Like, I'm a pretty okay driver? And I, I, that feels weird. Hmm. Okay, so we have the sway bar. Rear end link. We already knew about that part. Um, it's weird to say that, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. We did not discover any parts here. So, let's do a diagnostics. Yeah, um, so... The reason why I say I'm, I'm not a bad driver or I'm good at driving in the real world is... I... I've been driving since, um, let's see, how long have I been driving? Uh, since 2011, like more than 10 years ago, and 
that is really noisy. I don't know. Is it is it noisy on your on your end? Um, I've been driving since 2011, and in all that time, I've had uh, uh, one major accident, and that was me trying to like serve out of the way so that I don't hit a dog. So I hit the the curb, and I basically just bent the control arm of my front. Uh, my front wheel, uh, front left, if I can remember properly. And the others, I had two other ones, I believe, if I can remember correctly. I'm not sure. But both of them were like scratches. It wasn't, it wasn't something serious. Um, but I also have to add that... I am a highly cautious driver. I tend not to do stuff that that is weird or dangerous. Well, it depends on it depends on where where I am. If like for example, I'm in the situation where I can be a little bit dangerous like playful I, yeah, I'll be a little bit playful. Like, drifting and stuff like that. I don't do that, but I can, because I've had the opportunity to, to learn. But overall, in general, when I drive on the road, I'm a very cautious driver. Because, uh, yeah... When you're driving on the road, you have to consider other factors as well, like other people, right? You're not the only person on the road, so you need to be mindful of others. Well, at least that's what I that that's what I was told to believe, or taught to believe. Be mindful of others. Hmm. So, let's see here. I don't think we'll have discovered all the parts. I'm not sure. All the red parts are the parts that we need to replace, by the way. And look away. Let's see. Okay, we've we've identified all those. Okay, we've identified all the parts. Cool. So I'm going to lift the car. Do we need to drain the fluids? No. But I'm going to do it anyway. Why? Because I tend to spill. And that costs money. I can't remember how much though. But it does cost money. Oh, that there's nothing wrong with this oil. Okay, drain, do we need, are we, let's see, um, we need to, we're, we're going to need to take the tire off for, the, for that one, we'll have, yeah, we are going to have to take off the, the, well, drain the liquid, the brake servo. Do we need... let's just do all of the liquids so that we don't make the mistake. And you might ask, well, isn't that the same as wasting because the client didn't ask for this or this is not part of the job? I do not know. To be, to be very honest with you, I am not sure. But anyway, let's get... Uh, so we need sway bar rear end link. Sway bar rear end link. We need one. Okay, got that. Front wheel hub, rear suspension, upper arm, and a real. Okay. Uh, wheel hub. Let's see. 
front wheel hub front wheel hub this one rear suspension upper arm rear suspension upper arm I'm just gonna say yeah there we go okay rear wheel hub rear wheel hub this one cool okay rear shock absorber a rear shock absorber a oh Oh crap. Well, I didn't. It's not really a, that big of a problem. But I think. I'm going to have to. Okay, now just get the. Okay. Uh, rear shock absorber A. Yep, that's the one. Okay. And then lastly, exhaust pipe. So, again, I'm going to quickly show you. I'm going to quickly show you a trick. So this is the part that we need to replace, right? So you just add that to your shopping list by pressing X. Back here, this is the other one. Exhaust pipe, X, and rear muffler, H. So when you then go into your shop, you can just bring it up. The shopping list, click on it, and then you can find your part that you're looking for. Okay, cool. All right. Clear that. Okay. Let's get started. Got all these parts. Yep. Let's start at the back. Okay. What's wrong? Oh, here. Okay, that is done. Okay. Go back to this wheel over here that is really very very loud okay we've got we actually have a lot of things to do here okay one let's focus on do we need to buy rubber bushings hmm I'm not sure about that And we also need to place this. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. Huh? Oh. Not everything, I believe so. Okay, it seems like we didn't have to buy new rubber bushings. Put that one in there. So, some people might might ask me, like, how do you know all this stuff? Actually, to be quite honest with you, I don't know any of this stuff. All the things that I know about cars... I, I learned from this game, and this game isn't very realistic. So that's that's very sad. Okay. That is done. That is done. That one. So we just need to fix the front wheel. Uh, are we just gonna get like a thousand? Uh, 
That sucks. Front wheel hub. Which one? It's this one. Okay. So, I forgot to say, if you guys have any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns, uh, leave it in the comment section below. No, I really do enjoy this game. I tried to see if there was a Power Mechanic 2023 for PC. I, I'm playing on PC. But I cannot find any information regarding that. Which sucks, but I mean, it's not that bad. We still have this game, right? And I believe this game is quite popular on mobile. I cannot see how, though. Like a smaller screen. Let's see here. How much? 1,600. Let's add the liquids back. And then wash the car and then we can finish. Yeah. Um, I saw something that there might be a 2024 version. Like the next installment of the game would be next year which is very close we're almost there but I honestly cannot tell you I have no idea if the developer is watching this maybe the developer could uh, let us know but I highly doubt that the developer would be watching okay see here okay yeah if I sound weird I'm still quite sick I'm, I'm much better but I am still sick so that's maybe why I sound like like this been coughing so much Okay, but I'm getting there, not 100%, but I'm getting there, watch the car, okay, do this. Screenshot. Okay. Let's finish. Hmm. I wonder. I highly doubt. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. All these parts should be expensive. And we don't know what these parts are. Hmm. <laughs> he doesn't know about it because he's on a bit. You see, it happened that I was driving home at night. Yeah, I was driving home at night and something jumped out in front of the car. I was driving very slowly. I really was. I didn't manage to brake and you can see the results of that in front of you. The car was thrown around a bit, but it cannot be that bad, can it? Please do what you have to do to cover up the tracks. My father will hate me if he realizes that I messed around with his gem. It's his beloved car. Please make it quick. Okay. So if, it's, if he hits something... 
did we did we actually examine the car? Yes, we did. Yeah. Mm. And we ran our diagnostics, right? I believe we did. I cannot remember. Yeah, so we're not getting any XP, so we already did this. Okay. Um, should we take the chance? I said, I know I said I wanted to, I wanted to push to get to 10,000, but that might take very long. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try. Let's, let's, let's try. So we've got a racing tire. Which one needs to be replaced? I believe it's that one. It looks like that one. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. So, did we, did we, uh, we should rain. So that we don't make that mistake. Okay, so again, we're going to use our trick, determining uh, which which one we should replace. Okay, I believe. I oh know. Leave race tire. Just the tire or the rim? I think the rim is also a problem. If I look at it here, which tire should be replaced? I believe it's this one. Let me see. Yes, it's this one. Okay, so the tire, I think it's the, the rim as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tire to the shopping list. And I'm going to add the, the rim take it off because I really want to see but even though we don't need separate oh do we have break okay that's all of these might be a problem mm hmm let's have a look I want to see that rim first Have, oh no! Nope. Yeah, it's definitely that rim. Let's see, rim. Yeah, it's the rim. Okay. So let's take off these parts because I also think it's these brake pads. That is fine. Oh. Ooh. Okay. have a look quickly okay two parts that we still need to discover I believe it's should be this this knuckle No. Mm hmm. Let's see. One part still left undiscovered. Wasn't that? We said that 
it might be the rubber bushing. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. And this rubber bushing seems fine. A nut doesn't though. A nut's not gonna help us. Ah, the oil filter. You said the oil filter also looked... Yeah, that's everything. Okay, got it. Cool, let's buy the parts. Brake caliper. Brake disc... Uh, caliper, disc, and brake pads. So... Brake. So we need a brake caliper. A brake disc. And pads. Let me see, I want to see the, the cylinder, yeah, brake cylinder is fine, brake caliper cylinder is fine. Okay, oil filter V8, oil, oh, this one, keep an eye, keep an eye on your, your cash. Tires, racing tire, one. We need one. Let me make sure. Yeah. One. Okay. Uh, rim shop. There we go. Hey, cool. No. Oh. There we go. So we've got that, and we also have the the rim. Okay. Rear rear axle knuckle housing A. Not in this shop here. Rear axle knuckle. Which one? Rear axle knuckle housing A. Okay. Rear drive axle. Rear drive axle. Just a normal one. Rear drive axle. Yeah. These be enough money. Rear shock absorber cap. Rear shock absorber cap. Rear spring. This one. Rear suspension arm and a rear suspension arm B. Rear suspension arm and a rear suspension arm B. Okay. Rear suspension upper arm. This one. Okay. Rear wheel hub. Rear wheel hub. This one. Uh, one rubber bushing. Spring cap. Okay. Sway bar rear end link. Sway bar rear end link. Okay. And last one, wheel hub three. Wheel hub three. That was not so expensive. Okay, that's great. Better, better to be prepared. Better safe than sorry, right? Okay, let's assemble. Start here.
that one. Is that the one we've replaced? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come over to this side. Far. I'm very glad that we didn't have to have so much money. We only spent like a thousand something. I, I did I didn't check. Like at most two thousand. Okay, so then we need to Do that. Balance. Perfect. Almost there. Okay. Wouldn't like. He's trying to cover the tracks of what he did, right? But wouldn't his dad just know? Like, my dad would know. My dad isn't stupid. Obviously, he would see there's like a new part there. It doesn't look as... as the others. It looks brand new. Like, my dad isn't that stupid, and I assume this guy's dad isn't stupid either. But... Again, it's a game. It's the narrative. Cool, so we just need to refill the liquids and wash the car. Cool. Let's see here. one Do you guys know if there's a way to figure out how full the oil is without spilling like I spilled there Do you guys maybe know how to figure out how much oil is enough before you spill like for the brake servo and the power steering fluid you can gauge that like now it's full so you can stop and with the windshield washer reservoir you can you can do the, exactly the same like I'll tell you now that the full point that is full and you can do the same with this coolant I believe but not if you pour it into the radiator itself is there a way of figuring it out Like that is full. Yeah. If if you do know, tell me in the comment section below. So while this car is being washed, I'm going to take a sip of uh, something to drink because my throat is dry, still sick, and I don't want to cough the entire time. Okay. Then interior detailing. 
Wait. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Did we... Huh? 2.30... That wheel looks smaller. Is that a bug? Did we buy the right... What? This wheel looks smaller. I wanted to say it looks smaller. What? But it's fine. We're getting 8,000. Let's just fit the real. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I thought. What? Of course that is the problem. Don't do that. Ugh. Oh. Ah, add to the shopping list. Add to the shopping list. We just waste the time. I want to say the F word. Okay, let's try again. Shall we? Tire shop. Race tire. No, we need... Sorry guys, that is my bad. 235. 235. 235, 35, 18. 235, 35, 18. Yeah. Sorry about that. Such a dumbass. It happens. It happens. Size 18. Oh. Yeah, I was wondering, like, why? Why is it so cheap? It doesn't make sense. We... The reason why it doesn't make sense is because we bought the wrong damn tire. And r wrong rim. Ugh. How could I have not seen that earlier? Yeah. Okay. That is the correct one. Okay. 11,000. There we go. That is a nice payday. And we have... Oh, ooh, we've got a crate. Let's open the crate. Mm, give me money. Give me money. Money. Ah. Uh, well, we leveled up. That's great. Money. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Let's sell all these parts. Yeah, we want to sell this too. Mm, we leveled up. So let's go look at our upgrades. We've got four. So I'm thinking... How much is this? Three... Three and three. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to do this. Increase screwing speed and then let's just get this okay we've got 40 no what am I doing um okay so that is that Ooh -hoo -hoo. let's see the next story order hi my sister recommended your workshop truth be told when I learned the location I couldn't believe that there was anything standing here at all and yet, here you are. A great garage. Back to the car. I'm coming with my truck. I use it every day at work. It's a bit worn out, but it's not missing anything. Apart from the engines crackling and drops in power. I don't see any major problems, but maybe it's a, small, it's a matter of habit. Please take a closer look at the suspension. The car is often carrying some loads. 
do the routine checkup and make it usable for a few more years. Thanks. Change will and other tasks. Okay. Have a look. Ooh, Jaguar. Mmm. Yeah. Let's do it. This is not a this is not a difficult a difficult order at all. We don't need to, do we need to discover some parts? Oh crap. Uh, test drive? We probably can't. Yep. Engine cannot be started. Why can the uh, I probably doesn't have oil. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do our diagnostics. The car doesn't have OB. Okay. That happens sometimes. Can oh crap. Hmm. Well, we can check the tires at least. I know that we have enough money, so we don't have to worry about that. And I can already see some parts that need to be replaced. Uh, did we figure out? No, we checked the tires. Why would I? I'm an idiot. Why would we have discovered anything? There's nothing wrong with the tires. Ooh. I saw some red, red parts. Hmm. Nope. And then engine cannot be started. Of course. So we discovered two parts at least. Uh, let's do. Yeah, we've got nothing there. Shopping list. Let's clear that. Let's do an, inspe uh, an inspection. My goodness. We might uh, be able to identify some parts here, but not, but not all of them. We'll have bearing. Okay, cool. ABS module. Hmm. Suspension. Suspension. Oh my shattered nerves. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Clutch plates. Air filter. Anything else? Serpentine belt. Cam gear. Hmm. Give me something. Give me something. It's like a, like I'm playing the 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 lottery. Give me a prize. Any prize. Hmm. We'll have bearing. Okay. Drive shaft. Fine. Hmm. That one is fine. Okay. Quite a few parts. Okay. Still have so many. Oh my. Uh. Yeah. This is gonna be a lot. We're probably gonna have to strip this. In we're probably going to have to strip this entire car, aren't we? Hi. We're probably... Eh. 
Hang on. Hang on. I think... Is my sound okay now? Uh, please don't tell me there's another mistake there. Let's continue. This is going to be... I cannot even remember everything from this game. I, I've been to this part before. I haven't finished the game before, but I've been... I've been here before. Unfortunately, I cannot remember everything. Hmm, so I'm gonna basically have to strip this car down. It's annoying. Okay, let's get to the bottom. Um, nothing needs to re Yeah. A lot of work. Um... I don't need to replace any body parts. So, that is the front sway bar. Do we have the front sway bar? Yeah, we do. Hmm, the rubber bushings. Definitely the rubber bushings. I think all of them. Let's see? Rubber bushing. One rubber bushing. No, no, come back. Definitely looks like that one needs to re be replaced. So, yeah, it's definitely the rubber bushings. This one looks absolutely okay. That one... No. Ooh. Yeah. Two rubber bushings. Hmm. This one. Let me see my inventory. Yeah, those two. So I've got the two. These ones, obviously. We have the... The springs. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so I definitely think that we have a problem here. The rubber bushings on the on the control arms could also be a problem. Oh my shattered nerves! Brake pads, brake disc. Let's have a look. Um, so many parts. Hmm. I think we have front spring. Okay. Yeah. Let's take off this. bushings. Okay, that looks fine. The steering rack looks fine. Uh, definitely this spring should also come off. Okay. So definitely, we are discovering more parts. This, this definitely that. Hope we're pushing over there. And this one over here.
Okay. Yeah, we definitely are discovering faulty parts. Ooh, that... Do we have the wheel hub bearing? Wheel hub bearing. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, it needs to come out anyway, so... Um, starter. Do we have the starter? Do not have the starter. Starter, okay. Hmm. Let's see. We know something's wrong in the gearbox. That is the fuel filter. Do we have a fuel filter? No. Okay. Okay, we're doing great so far. There is something over there that we need to check. I just want to see this rubber bushing, small rubber bushing, looks damaged. Small rubber bushing. Yeah. Okay, we're not doing bad at all. I also saw, yeah, in the fuel pump. Okay. Rear knuckle, rear axle knuckle. Yeah, we've got that. This rubber bushing. Okay, have a look. Okay, we're doing really great. I think this fuel filter needs to go. Fuel filter. The wires. There's another clip. Yep. Air filter. I think this also has to go. The alternator. We have the alternator. Don't we? Yeah, the alternator is there. Hmm. Carb the carburetor looks fine. Hmm. I quickly want to have a look at what's going on inside it, it has a drop in power so maybe there's something wrong with the, the pistons oh yeah that crankshaft looks terrible we take off the flywheel and then yeah we've got some 
pistons and car rods. Okay. Is this going to be enough, though? I think so. Crappy thing is that we're gonna have to take apart, like, almost the entire engine just to get to the piston and then Conrad's. Which sucks a little, but... all a part of the job, I guess. Okay. We cannot get to that right now. Uh... look definitely damaged. One over here. Okay. And uh, these rocker arms. Ah. Uh. I think we figured out what all the undiscovered parts are. C. I think before we finish the episode, let's try to discover all the parts first. All the faulty parts first. Like, we do not have that many left, you see? We only have these few. Let's take this all apart that we can get to the crankshaft. Hmm. This is a lot of work. I hope that we get paid enough for this. I, uh, we will. We will. It's a story order. So the story orders, as they progress in difficulty, you also get more money for it. Which is good. And then slowly we're going to start dividing our attention between story orders and building, uh, buying scraps from, from the, the junkyard and then rebuilding that and selling it for profit. Okay, yeah. Two more spark plugs that we need to fix. 
Not fix, replace. Oh my shattered nerves. A lot of work. You know, there's so much that goes into... into an engine. And I'm very sure that this game doesn't even show all the parts. But, yeah, there's probably a lot more that goes into an engine to make it work. Am I a petrol head? Um, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a petrol head. I like cars, but not that much to consider myself a petrol head. So, no. But I do look for certain things when buying a new car. But I guess everyone does, right? took apart this entire engine. Oh, and we need to get that camshaft, right? Faulty? Does it look faulty? Yeah, a little. Let's see. Okay, do we still have some part not discovered? One, two, th three, four parts not discovered. I believe that looks fine. The battery kind of looks okay. Fuse box, let's look at the fuses. The fuses look fine. Where's... yeah, the air filter was faulty, we've sorted that out. So then the problem should be at the back, right? That's the part that we might not have seen. Um... Let's have a look. Definitely that brake pad. We know about that knuckle. Leaf spring. We have the leaf springs? Yeah, we've got leaf springs. Uh. Definitely that brake pad as well. How about... Now that looks fine. Do we have, still have parts? One... Two parts that we still need to... Discover. This fuel tank looks fine. Um... Do we have the rear shock absorber? Rear shock absorber. Uh, no. No, we don't. Could that possibly be it? Yeah. It is. Where is it? Oh, well, yeah, it's the shock, shock absorbers. 
that all the parts yeah we've got all the parts we identified all the freaking parts cool okay yeah I think what I'm gonna do there because this is a very big job we're going to spend so much time on this I think we will be able to finish it in the next video so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there um because we're already already running quite a long time on this episode so yeah please remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads and uh if you have any tips tricks questions or concerns that you might have leave it in the comment section below and if you like please support us on on patreon the link is in the description below i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one